Welcome everyone, this is GKGFX from .o2designs.com and today you guys are going to be watching my video tutorial on how to properly crop an image. We're going to start out by opening up the image you wish to crop. Documents. For more you can also check out my DeviantArt, gkgfx.deviantart.com Cropping an NBA image today for the Lakers. Okay, well, there are some, there are two main ways to properly cut, and that, with the eraser, is not one of them. Now, Many of you, you cut your picture and you're like, wait a second, I cut it away and there's black background still. Well, to get rid of that, make sure your image is in the background. You just right click, layer from background, you're all good. The first main way of cutting is the polygonal lasso tool. Now, the polygonal lasso tool, tool does stuff like this, straight lines. You just hit delete and you're good. Make sure that's checked in, by the way. That is normal cut selection. This will add to your selection. This will subtract from your selection. Now, normally, to cut, I like to zoom in to about 600, 700 percent, maybe 800. Now, if you're going to be using polygon lasso tool, just come down, start usually at an edge, and do small increments like this. Just keep clicking, keep clicking, now the one disadvantage with this, probably going to last little two is you're obviously cutting in a straight line. So it makes turns like this very hard to do. A really good tip for this is don't worry if you cut off the edge because if you miss stuff it's going to look really bad in the end and I call it a uh, cutter's artistic liberties. Never be afraid to change an image. Oh, and if you mess up like that, just come back over the straight line and you'll be good. No one will ever notice. And then to, to get rid of all the image with the polygon last little tool, you can come outside of the image, outside of the box, the canvas, and just do this, come up, Hit the delete key, and it's gone. Now if you zoom out, you see it looks perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to, you should always continue cutting along the same path. But I'm going to skip ahead up to the head, and I'm going to teach you how to use the pen tool. Just right here, make sure it's on this setting, although it doesn't have to be it could also be on the path setting but I prefer using the shape layer setting I also prefer to make it a really obnoxious color like bright pink now the nice thing about the pen tool is you can click you can do the straight lines but also you can click and drag and do archy lines okay. now if you take the pen tool and you make an archy line, most people go like this and are like, hey, complete my curve for me. I don't want to do that. If you make an arc and you hold in the alt key and click on the last anchor point, that goes away and then you can make straight lines again. It's a nifty little tip. Okay, now the pen tool is perfect for rounded areas, even especially hair and heads and balls. Just click. Try not to, don't want to pick too big of an area. Click. And drag. Hold the alt. Click. And drag. And try to just get a good bit of area selected here. I normally will go through one style and just outline the whole cut at once and not break it up and delete in parts. 
then say you got an area you want to cut the one disadvantage about the pen tool is you can't click out of the thing so you're eventually gonna have to go back unless you're zoomed out the whole way I should say you can't click out of your canvas so you almost have to either zoom out or go back in with the polygonal lasso tool and cut it out now you have this very ugly image because I mean who wants a big pig thing on their cut just right click and choose make selection you don't want to feather it at all now you have the selection delete your shape layer or make it invisible and click off of it if you really want and now that you're on your main image just hit delete whoops sorry about that and there you go now deselect it zoom out Ta -da. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this picture and then I will get back to you on techniques to make your cuts look better to make your cut double check fix some of the little errors you made and then we'll be done alright I'm back as you can see I have the whole thing selected I selected the image now you don't want to delete it now because you delete the players so you're going to want to hit control shift I to select the inverse or just go to select inverse now to get all these little pieces in here this is where the polygonal lasso tool could really come in handy or you could just use two different pen tool layers by pen tooling around the whole outside and then coming back in with this and make a bunch of selections that's just kind of annoying sometimes Select the pen or the polygonal lasso. Come up here and choose the add. See, there's a little plus icon on the polygonal lasso. Now just come down here. You can come up. Get all this stuff. And spots like that that are kind of blurry and you really can't see what's going on it is where it doesn't, that's when you just kind of crop it to how you think it should look. Like sometimes, although a picture is really choppy like along the jersey or there are a bunch of bumps, it just looks better to smooth them out instead of cutting out every last detail. And see, I messed, I accidentally clicked too close together so I closed the pass, so I come in here with the negative one. fix that up. Now if you hold in the space bar, this little nifty hand comes up and you move like this instead of trying to use your scroll bar or coming down here and doing this. And another nice thing is while I'm going like this, I can make it a space bar and move and not lose my selection. Come down here around D Fish's eyebrow and we're good. Now if I zoom out, look at it, hit delete, ta-da, it's all gone. Nice good cut. Now, first thing you should always do after you cut is go in, put in a white background, and look at it. Now you see how there's some of these little black edges, and it's, it's common to miss edges. I missed I'll show you how this tool works. Now if you go to layer, matting to fringe. So it's a one pixel, hit OK. Oops. Make sure you have the layer selected. Layer, matting, to fringe, one pixel, OK. Ta da! Black gone. Now, you never stop with doing a black background layer. You should always. Or never stop with the white background layer, I should say. You should always go to black. Then, Try another color, like the jersey color. Do that. And then it's always good to do some really random color like that to try to miss. And I realized my did the arm kind of choppy, but I just rushed through this one for you guys. Now, the next thing you should always do is, especially if you're uploading to a site or uploading for someone, always delete the background layer because that just takes up unnecessary space. Go to layer. Where is this? 
image, yeah, not layer, image, and hit trim. And it'll automatically auto trim your picture, your cut, to the size of the cut. So you don't have to mess. You could also crop it, but you don't want to have to mess with the crop tool. So that will also save the maximum amount of space. That is my tutorial on cutting. Look out for more video tutorials on the way. For more, check out .o2designs.com. That's designs with a Z, not an S. Or check out gkgfx.deviantart.com.